Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to format query results in SQL CL using query comments and the SQL format setting. We set the NLS date format session parameter so date values are displayed in a specific format of our choice, not just the default format. Here's an example of a simple query from the EMP table. We've limited the number of columns and rows so the output fits on the screen a little better, but we could have just done select star from the table. We've repeated the previous query, but added the CSV comment. This tells SQLCL we want the output in CSV format. We can see the first row of the output is the column names in uppercase, followed by the data in CSV format. We can use column aliases to alter the column names in the output. Double quoted column aliases allow us to force the case to lowercase. We can see this reflected in the output column names. We can use column aliases in a similar way for the following examples, but to keep things simple we're not going to. The HTML comment results in HTML formatted output. We can see there's some CSS and JavaScript at the top of the file. Then we get to the body, where there's a table defined containing the data. At the bottom we also get a comment showing the SQL statement that was used to generate the output. If we spool the output to a file and open it in a browser, we can see the data displayed in a grid. We can search for rows using the search box on the top left of the page. We can see the output is filtered by the contents of the search box. Here we've used the JSON comment. The results tag has a value made up of column definitions and the data associated with the columns. The XML comment produces XML output. The insert comment produces insert statements to recreate the data returned by the query. For this to work, all mandatory columns would need to be present in the select list. You should also make sure the NLS date format matches the required format mask. You can see it doesn't here. Here's a list of the formats currently supported. I'm not going to demonstrate all of them because you can do that for yourself. Rather than adding the format comment, we can use the SQL format setting. Here we've set SQL format CSV. We can then issue the SQL statement without the comment, and we get CSV output. We clear the formatting using set SQL format default. We could use this approach for any of the supported formats listed previously. If you're in the habit of spooling formatted files using SQL Plus, you might prefer to switch to SQL CL and use these options, as they're more flexible in SQL Plus markup settings. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.